Oi, welcome back to my grandma death run hardcore mode. Yep, I'm on life, but I got my dog friend to save me. I need it. And I got like 20 minutes of playtime before I need to go to work. So it will be a short session and worst case scenario. Here they come. Here they come. Worst case scenario, okay. I need to run back. That's it. For now. I must say, spot there are birds here. Who come and cut a dive at me? I don't know how to spot them in the trace. And then it will be a midnight session again. There was one. Another. Oh! Yep, come and cut the birds. They're already annoying. Damn. I'm already at half health. Yeah. This ain't good. <sighs> that ain't good. Not good, girl. Not good. Yeah, permadeath means if I die, it's over. I played stuff like that before. I saw something on my map over there. Huh? A rune stone. A stone. I don't know what the official name is. I'm gonna go over there. It just... Dear... I'll be extra careful though. There we Shit. My bird friend can't do much about those. I just killed the deer oh. by accident. That's it. I don't drop too much ammo. Damn, that's kind of cool looking. This forest is wild. It went hard on the red stuff. Let's see. I can. Can I get down there? I want to go to the stone ASAP and then explore here the the evening. Okay, this is it. <laughs> That's it. For now. The dog got this. Yes. Up. Oh. Got them super charms too. Didn't even use my new ability. Oh. Nice be. Okay, is that uh looks like there's a trader here. Hello girl. Wow. What summons me from my ethereal wanderings? New Zar. What kind of beast is this? <laughs> the gun on a mission. Through fog and field, they find the mossy bed of Myrdra, spirit of the wood, alive with missions and wonder. Yes. Yes, Though indeed. Your form be foreign. Your kind, I know. Oh, perhaps a question game. <laughs> yes, what fun that will be. Answer these questions true, sweet beast, so that your ark may be known and your eye may open. Well, I can't and fail, right? Wisely. Answer from your heart. Ah, try this out, sure. You lead a small clan of warriors fleeing from the enemy. One of your warriors steps into a trap. He is immobilized and badly injured, and a crystal flare soars into the sky. The enemy descends upon you. The warrior cannot be saved. He begs you not to leave him to the enemy's torture. He begs you to slay him yourself. 
Mm. Do you slay the warrior? Or leave him to whatever fate may hold? Damn, I'll slay him. Oh, what fun this is! Yeah. Your closest friend is about to be wed. It is the day of the ceremony, and all are happy. But for you... For you have learned that your friend's betrothed has had a liaison. If you tell them, it will ruin their grand day. Damn. If you don't, it may lead to later grief. Do you stay silent and enjoy the party? Or tell the truth and ruin the day? Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna tell them the truth. I'm always about the truth. Damn, honesty. Honesty never rewards you right away. Oh. Fascinating. Mm. Two clans have warred for generations. Your matriarch calls for a battle of champions to bring a final end to the bloodshed, and you are chosen to fight. Your opponent is the eldest but weakest son of your enemy. He offers you no threat, and you best him easily. But you must slay him to end the war. Do you spare the scion of your family foe, or kill him and end the war? Kill them. Ooh, how revealing. A powerful and determined warlord is about to set fire to a crowded cigarette. You have his eldest son in your custody. You could stop the warlord by hurting his son, breaking his arm and threatening to do worse unless the warlord relents and gives himself up. Do you torture your hostage or let the crowd fend for itself in the fire? Damn. That's a tough one again. She said three questions. That's the fourth. Ah, oh. oh, let's torture the son. I see. Mm, Your not daughter happy. has been killed. The murderer is arrested, and after many years, they are sentenced to death. Before the sentence is carried out, they come to you and explain that they are truly sorry, <laughs> and they ask for your forgiveness. No. Nothing you say will change their sentence, nor bring your daughter back. Do you forgive them? For now, no. Well done. Really? You have chosen your path, sweet beast. Thank you. Your will is strong. The fire of the Ravager's eye glows within you. Oh, I got a trait. Tell me more about this eye. In the arc of every being, there are two eyes. We may see out of either, but most favor one over the other. The Ravager's eye is dynamic, driven, and endlessly hungry. Yet for all its power, its vision is clouded. The eye of the Ravager rarely sees beyond its own satiation. Like an animal chasing its tail, it knows no rest. The doe's eye sees only what is before it. The gift of the doe is subtle, easily missed. It is a most mysterious presence inside oneself, conferring power without force. Just as the doe itself cannot be sought, nor tracked, nor hunted. By answering true, sweet beast, you give me a wink, and now the gifts of your dominant eye will be open to you. Hmm. Uh. Would you care to hear a tale? It is about those who see as you do. I am confused as hell. I guess this will be the whole episode talking to that girl. Then my face cam is just not in the picture. It's just not there. Yeah, and I look still tired as hell. You can see this eye is just black. Damn. Yeah, let's tell me the tale. I will tell you the tale of Belgoth, who also saw with the Ravager's eye. Belgoth lived in the era before the root first bedeviled the pan and nipped at their hairy hooves. 
Belgolf was Drinkmaster of Flint, a village beyond the hill. One day, when Belgolf was traveling far afield, Flint was raided by bandits. They laid waste to every soul, old and young. Belgolf returned to find everyone he cared for watering the soil with their blood. Well, Belgolf tapped his store of spirit, filling Growler and Jeroboam by the gaggle, and he hoofed himself to my grove. Where lies the bandit's lair? he demanded. His eye was open, and I had no reason to deceive him. At my direction, Belgolf tintinabulated to their den. There, he smashed a jug on his horns and struck Flint with steel, and Belgolf was reborn as a flaming figure of vengeance. Mm. He charged into the bandit's lair, hoof over hand, and in his enemy's bosom, the remaining stock of spirit took spark with explosive result. Some consider this a waste of life. For could not Belgoth have traveled elsewhere and rebuilt what he had lost? But I'll tell you this. Flynn's sister village stood free from bandit attacks for many years after that day. Belgoth's blaze of glory saved it. He died with the Ravager's eye open and no mercy in his heart. Terrible waste to drink, though. Is there anything else? Knowledge of me? Of our wonderful world? Are you the backstory lady? Who are you? You stand before Mirdra, spirit of the natural world, daughter of stem and stream. My sisters and I are the glorious weavers of all wild beauty. When mountain, spring, and sturdy tree trunk take your breath, sweet beast, that is us. That is our blessing. Are your sisters as spectacularly looking as you? An immeasurable number. Mother Stem and Mother Stream rely on us to sprawl and grow. Though we don't often commune with beasties such as you. Oh. Not in this age. Especially not since what happened to Kayula. Tommy. A tragedy beast. Tragedy most cruel. Kayula was fascinated by mortals, by your lives and stories. Unlike most of us, she made herself no secret. And you worshipped her with your short lives, even built her a house. A temple, you called it. The root found her there. We godlings are not easily unwoven, however. And it slew her not. But perhaps it would be better if it had. For what remains is no longer the sister I knew. But we hold happy thoughts. Regret only wastes one life with another. Is there something else we can talk about? Are we gonna meet her and slay her? What is this place? By day, a dappled glade of emerald branch and golden leaf, carpeted by downy moss. By night, by night, sweet beast, the trees bewitch the lost and inebriated. Or so it was before this age of extermination. How I long to return to play. This age, for me, holds only decay. Oh, I'm gonna keep moving Farewell, on. Farewell, sweet beast. Farewell, sweet... Fae? I don't know. Well, we got a rest point here. Oh, pretty. Yeah, I don't trust this place. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. Did I heal? And Locked from the other side. Okay, map says I could go back a little and explore the town. And the episode is over. My abilities are full. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. That, that's good. That staircase is good. 
Need to cash money. Destroying everything too. Very important. Nothing in there. Damn it! Why treasures? Who even lives here? Probably no one anymore. They're all dead. There, that's where the money is. Damn it. Bamboozled. There's something. Duh. This isn't looking good. The hell was that? Just one. Holy hell. Seems like it. That wasn't that house. Chunker mm, noises. We could build Mitra a house. Okay, he's lucky. Could go for this house. <gasps> Knowledge. Everybody loves knowledge. I played the black a game Black Tail called Black Tail earlier this year. It's a Slavic tale similar to a mix between The Witcher and Horizon Zero Dawn. So, for an arrow gameplay, Slavic Tale about Baba Yaga. It was cool as hell, good voice acting, cool characters, gameplay was sweet. So, gray health generation. I'll take it. And where's the eye of the ravager? Was that the eye of the ravager? I'm confused. Yes, I know I get a trade point. But this is, uh, anyways, this is done. We're done here. Good part of this journey. We mostly flirted with that chick here. We can go to the door, see if it's a boss or just. Door. No, we can't go through the door. I remember. I remember everything. Point. Uh, we're done. Can I? There we go. That makes it easier to end the recording. Oh, 18 minutes only. Duh. It's a short one. 